Shenfa. Yes? No. About the wind? Huh? The wind? Yeah, you knew about the rain because the wind changed, right? Oh. Yes, I can tell the weather from the changes in the wind's direction and its humidity. Then, what you said yesterday in the forest? I felt the humid wind from the west. It was a sign that the rain clouds were approaching. You can tell all that? I can tell not only from the wind, but from watching the clouds. The clouds? Yes, the faint clouds like fog in the sky bring rain. The small line clouds are a sign of clear weather. Really? The clouds? If you observe the sky carefully, you could tell the weather too. I could? Yes, there are many signs in the sky. Observe carefully. I agree. Shenfa. Yes? It looks like we're going down the mountain. Are we getting near the village? Yes, that's right. I see. So once we get through this path, it looks like we'll be there. Yes, after we go over another mountain. Oh, the mountains continue. Are you tired now? No, I'm fine. Good. Have you gotten used to the mountain path yet? Yeah, I'm getting pretty used to walking here. I'm glad. But it is more difficult to go downhill than uphill. Watch your step. I will. Some places are still muddy from the rain last night. Yeah, I'll be careful. What's wrong, Nyo? Uh, nothing. Bailu village is this way. Let's hurry on. Yeah. Shenfa. Yes? It's been a long time since I walked on mountain paths like this one. Oh? What kind of mountains are there where you grew up? Mountains. In Japan, there's a beautiful mountain called Mount Fuji. Japan, your country. Yeah. It must be very far. It's beyond the sea. The sea. I'd like to see it. You have never seen the sea before? Never. Have you ever been outside Guilin? Not even once. Did you ever wish to go out? I never thought of it. The flowers and animals keep me company when I go to the forest. They talk to me. Hmm. The flowers and the animals? Yes. How? I can't explain, but those who live in the same forest can understand each other. You understand each other? Yes. Shenfa. Yes? Let's hurry on. Yes. A landslide. We can't get past here. It's probably because of the rain last night. Is there another path we can take? I don't know. Wait, I recall my father mentioning another path. Another path? There was a path that broke off on our way here. Oh, that one. Perhaps that path could be... Yeah, let's go see. Yes.
Is this the path? It might be. Although I'm not too sure. In any case, we don't have a choice. Let's go, Shenhua. It's a dead end. Let's look for another path. Let's do that. Across there. Yeah. Watch out for the stones with moth. You might slip. But the river is shallow here. No. The river flow can be more powerful than it seems. If you slip, you could sprain your ankle. All right, I'll be careful. I'll go first. Yo, this way. Let's move on before it gets too dark. Right. Hmm. Bai Lu Village. Yo, we were right about taking this path. Yeah. We can move on. Yes. Good. Let's go.
a river again. Yo, let's cross there. Yeah. When you step on the stones, maintain your balance by stepping out gently. Same as the leg steps of jujitsu. What's jujitsu? A Japanese martial art. I learned it from my father. Slide your feet as a bird would glide on water's surface. I was taught that. But you've acquired that skill naturally. You must have martial arts on your mind all the time. No, not really. I'll go first. Yo, please be careful. Are you okay? Yeah. Yo, please be careful. Are you okay? Yeah. Yo, please be careful. Good, you got across safely. Yeah. Let's go, the village is still further ahead. Alright. Shenfa, where does that river run to? All the rivers nearby flow into the Ying Shui Chuen River. The Ying Shui Chuen River? The water is always clear, so in the evening there are many fireflies. The scenery is just like the song that I was singing. There are fireflies near the river? Not only fireflies, but the animals in the forest live off the river's water. Animals? Yes, they gather by the river at night. Even animals that are natural enemies never fight when they are at the river. Really? Yes, they're all friendly. Even the wolves and bears are lying side by side to drink water. Strange, but interesting. Yes. We start climbing again from here. Are you tired? No, I'm fine. This is nothing. We are headed toward Bailu village now, I'm sure of it. How can you tell? As long as I don't lose sight of the sun, I know where I'm going. The sun? As soon as we go over this mountain, we'll reach Bailu village. Go on ahead, Yo. Alright. I'm sure we'll make it. Yes. But watch out for places where the path branches off. Yeah, I know. Guardians! Hmm. What's the matter? We're back on the original path. Really? Yes. The Guardians are the sign. The landslide we saw was this way. 
Bailu village is this way. Really? From here on, it's the path that I usually take. Good. Now you can follow me. All right. You can lead the way. That's a relief. Shenfa. Yes, Yo. You always take this path, right? Yes. When you go into the mountains, what do you do for drinking water? If you're walking around here, there's no need to worry about water. There are rivers and lots of places where the water flows into springs. Oh, you can drink from the river? Yes, you can. Oh, when we reach my house, you can drink from the well. The water from the well? Everyone in the village lives off the water from the well. The river is where we fish and where the children play. Did you used to play in the river too? When I was a child, I played with the boys. I kept it a secret from my father. What did you do? We caught fish, and we raced to the other bank. You were a pretty active kid. Yes. Shenfa. Yes? Is anything going to be done with that landslide over there? I will let my father know as soon as we get home. You can't leave it like that. All the villagers will fix the path together. Really? That'll be a lot of work. But it happens once every few years. It couldn't be helped. And it's not all that bad. What do you mean? The villagers cooperate and fix the path. It is hard work, but once the paths are finished, everyone is happy. Oh, so the ties between the villagers become stronger. Yes. When they get back to the village, the grown-ups all drink and celebrate, singing songs. Everyone looks forward to that. That's why they get together and work. I get it. The path branches off. Yo. Hmm? We'll be taking a detour, but ahead there's a field full of beautiful flowers. Flowers? Yes. Do you want to see them? Sure. Why not, since we're here? Yes, this way. Follow me. Shenfa. Yes? Can you tell me more about the village? More? Let me see. There are various legends told in Bailu village. There are legends? Yes, there are many, since the village has existed for hundreds of years. Like what? Well... <laughs> what kind of stories did they tell where you grew up? Where I grew up? Well... Tell me. Okay. There is a shrine near my house called Yamanose Shrine. What is a shrine? It looks similar to the temples in China. Ah, it's where the gods live. You make wishes at the shrine. Did your wish come true? I'm not sure. It didn't come true? I never really wished for anything seriously though. Oh. Look, yo. Aren't they beautiful? Yes, they are beautiful. The last time I came here, the flowers were still in bud, but now they've all bloomed. Really? Let's move on. There will be more flowers ahead. Yeah. Shenfa. Yes? Flowers. I haven't looked at flowers like this for a long time. Which flower do you like? I don't know much about flowers. Oh. But my father liked lilies. Your father? Yeah. 
I remember. Nozomi brought some for my father one day. Are you talking about Nozomi again? No, I'm talking about my father. Oh, you're right. You were talking about the lilies that your father liked. Whenever I see lilies, they remind me of my father. Everyone has a flower that reminds them of something. Yeah. Shenfa. Yes? There are so many Koza blossoms here. Yes. In this area, everywhere you look, you'll see Koza blossoms. You have them in your country as well? Yeah. I'm surprised that there are so many. When I was small, whenever I saw a field of blossoms, I used to pick them and bring them home. Really? We ate them. You would eat them? I see. And we would collect oil from the seeds. There was a place near my house where many of these bloomed. Really? I like colza blossoms, but I like the evening chrysanthemums the best. Do you know about them? The evening chrysanthemum? What kind of flower is that? They are smaller than the evening primroses and bloom in unnoticeable areas. Not that many people know about them, but they are my favorite. The evening chrysanthemums. If I see one, I'll let you know. All right. What's wrong, Nyo? A strangely shaped tree. A spider tree. A spider? That's what the villagers call it. The branches look like spider legs. Now that you mention it, they do. Whenever I'm walking back to the village, I feel relieved when I see this tree. Huh? We're halfway to Bailu village from here. This tree marks the halfway point. I see. Now come on, the village is this way. Shenfa. What is it, Yo? We've come a long way. Are you tired? I'm fine. I'm used to walking here. Oh, that's right. Are you all right? Do you want to take a rest? No, I'm fine. Let's hurry on our way. You don't have to be in such a hurry now. This path is... The path that you're familiar with? Yes. Up ahead there is a clear spring. If you're tired, we can take a rest there. A spring. Good idea. Let's go there. All right. Shenfa. Yes? What kind of stories are there in Bailu Village? There are so many stories that have been told. That thing about the white deer being the guardian, is that one of the stories? Yes. How does that story go? Long ago, the village suffered from drought, and then there was a forest fire. When the village was surrounded by flames, a white deer appeared. A white deer? That white deer led the villagers to the spring in the mountains. To the spring? The villagers were able to escape from the forest fire because of that. That's why it's the village's guardian. From then on, the white deer appeared occasionally, saving the villagers from many other dangers. An interesting story. All the villagers believe it, and I do too. Shenfa. Yes? We've been walking for a long time, but there's no one passing by. No. Hardly anyone visits the village, and hardly any villagers venture from the village. I guess... when you're surrounded by these mountains. <laughs> hmm? What is it? Everyone will be curious when they see you in the village. Yeah, I imagine so. The children will be really happy. It will be their first time to see a foreigner. Children. Yo. Hmm? It would be nice if you could talk to the children. Tell them about Japan and the sea. Yeah, I hope I have the time to do that. Yes? I mean, I will if I can. Yes, please.
the path branches off again. Yo, what are you doing? Huh? Oh. The path is branching off again. I told you, you'll be fine if you leave it all to me. This way. Yeah, that's right. Shenfa. Yes? Let's hurry on. Yes. A spring. The water's color. This spring is called Five Color Spring. Five Color Spring? From noon till evening, the water's color changes five times. That's why it has that name. A mysterious spring. The color will change soon. Look, Yo. How does this happen? How? I never thought of the spring as strange. Really? Yeah. Landslide again. We have to take a different path. I'm sorry, Yo. Huh? After I told you to leave it to me to lead you the way. Don't worry about it. Let's get back to that branching path. Yes. We have no choice but to go this way. You're right. All right. I'll go first from here. Yes. You can lead the way. What's the matter, Shenfa? These are herbs. Herbs? For my father. Your father? I'm sorry. I kept you waiting. Let's go. It's a dead end. Let's look for... Let's do that.
strange landscape. The rocks are like bridges, and many are connected. There are many places with similar terrain in Guilin. That I was surprised too when I first saw this. The scenery looks artificial. True, but it's the wind and water that created the shapes over a long time. Really? It's narrow, but I think we can cross it. Yes, but watch your step. Okay. We could die if we fall. If we cross it slowly, we won't fall. Let's go. Okay, I'll go first. Virgin's here. Jump carefully. We can make it. Oh. Yo, jump! Um, okay. <sighs> now let's go. The path continues. Good. Hmm. Bai Lu Village. Yo, let's move on. Yeah. It's this way, right? Yes. Good. Let's go. The stone lion. It is an ancient Chinese sign placed on the roads that branch off. A road sign. Then... We're back on the usual path. I'm familiar with this path. 
Really? The village is not far from here now. Let's go. Follow me. Yeah. Shenfa. Yes? I saw that stone lion in Hong Kong too. The stone lion king is a talisman found everywhere in China. A talisman. We pray for safe journeys. So that's why it's sitting by the path. Yes, especially on the points where the paths branch off. Where the paths branch off? I was taught when I was a child that it protects the village from evil spirits. I remember now. I saw them at the entrances of the towns in Hong Kong. That's not a surprise. Also, we pray to it when a child gets sick. A child? Yes. As a child, when I had a fever, the old lady in the village prayed for me. They have them in your village as well? We place them in the village where their roads cross, where some houses have them carved in the walls. I guess they're everywhere. Yes. Shenfa. Yes? Where do you usually go when you take this path? I go to the docks of Langhuishan Mountain. Why do you go to the docks? I go there to buy things that I can't get in the village. Like what? Iron is precious in the village, for pots and knives, and also for the tools my father uses for work. Iron. He takes good care of his tools, but when they are broken, he can't get them fixed in the village. Really? What else? I also buy medicines that are only sold in town. Oh, medicines. The villagers usually use herbal medicine, but for emergencies, we need the kind sold in town. Right. Medicine is precious. Yes, the boats bring a lot. But medicines are expensive, so I can't buy that much. I see. What's wrong, Shenfa? The two paths. Which way was it? Are we lost? No, we'll be fine. Either path will take us to the village. It's just that... What? One of them will be a detour. The past looks so much alike, I can't tell which one. All right. I'll decide on which path to take. Yes, please do. Let's go this way. Yes. Shenfa. Yes? Isn't it dangerous to walk in the mountains alone? There's nothing dangerous here. I just stay put when there's no moon, or when it rains heavily. And if you don't surprise the animals, they won't attack you. Really? If you know about the mountains in the forest, you'll realize that people are just another creature in the mountains. There's nothing to fear. People are also creatures in the mountains. But you'll... Hmm? Watch out for the snakes. They are poisonous ones. Poisonous snakes? Yes. If the snake's head is triangle-shaped, it's poisonous. It slithers on the ground, so you can't notice it even if it's near you. All right. I'll remember that. It would be terrible if you got bitten. Yeah, I'll be careful. Are there lots of poisonous snakes? I see them sometimes, but the poison of the snakes around here isn't too strong. Even if you're bitten, if we take care of it quickly, you'll be fine. I see. Feel better? Yeah, a little. Shenfa. Yes? What does your house look like? My house? 
like any other ordinary house in the village. An ordinary house in Baili village. I can't imagine what it looks like. They're wooden pillars and walls made from dirt. Walls made from dirt. There are houses made from stone in the village too. We can get various kinds of stones near the village. There are rare beautiful stones and strong ones too, used to build houses. There are no houses in Japan made from stone. Oh. What do you mean by rare beautiful stones? You can only find them in Guilin, specifically near Bailu village. They used to be treasured by the emperors and nobles in the city. Emperors and nobles? No. Hmm? What are Japanese houses made of? Um, my house was made from wood. Most of the old houses are made from wood. Only wood? No, the roofs are tiled and the windows and doors have glass. Glass? We don't have that in the village. Really? Once broken, it can't be fixed. No one uses it for houses. Oh. Yo, the village is this way. Yeah. Shenfa. Yes? How do the villagers live? Most people cultivate the fields and own water buffalo or goats. Water buffalo? There are horses too, but people to ride on. Can you ride a horse? I can, but I'm not too good at it. Really? When I was small, I wanted to run around freely like the boys. I always wished I could do that. Aren't the girls allowed to ride horses? I wasn't really allowed to. I never rode on a horse before. I heard that the people in town ride in cars. Do you ride cars? Yeah, I got rides. Really? But we don't need them in Bailu village. You think so? Cars can't get through these mountain paths. I'm sure the horses and cows can get you there faster. Yeah, I guess you're right. Shenfa. Yes? What sort of animals live here? There are many kinds of animals. Yesterday you told me that there are wolves. There are wolves and bears in these mountains. Wolves and bears. Aren't you scared of them? I'm not scared. Nothing dangerous happens. The bears won't attack people. I see. But if you see a cub, you have to get away from it quickly. Cubs? Yes. The mother bear would fight, risking its own life to protect her child. Risking her own life to protect her child. But bears hardly ever attack people. It's a kind-hearted animal. I see. What is that sound? It sounds like a waterfall. I hear it from the path on the left. Is there a waterfall? No. I don't think there was one nearby. Then what is that sound? I don't know. Do you want to go find out? Yeah. Why not? Yes.
There's water back in the river. Huh? Look. This river has been dry for months. Really? We heard this waterfall. But why did the water start running all of a sudden? Last night's rain. The rain made the waterfall and it's now flowing into the river. That rain made this waterfall. Yes. Whenever it rains hard, small waterfalls are made here and there. Really? The river runs into the Lijiang. The village is up the river. Let's go. Yes. Shenfa. Yes. I wonder what Bai Lu Village looks like. A quiet, small village surrounded by the mountains. But. But. There are old buildings and castle walls there. They were built long ago. Castle walls? Yes. They were built by the nobles from the city. An old lady in the village told me. Who were the nobles? They served the emperor. They had treasures and rare items. So naturally, there were many thieves. Ah, that's why they built the walls. There is a poem in the village left by the nobles. How does the poem go? Green trees of Gui create a forest to the south of the lake. The river is a blue sash of silk. The hills are hairpins of jade. What does it mean? The deep forests of Gui are south of the lake. The waters of the Lijiang are like blue silk. The mountains are like hairpins made from jewels. The landscape of Guilin. Yes, I like this poem. Even with my eyes closed. I can see the landscape of Guilin. Really? Shenfa. Yes. Are there other animals besides wolves and bears? Rabbits and foxes and raccoons. Foxes and raccoons. What kind of animals were there where you grew up? Okay. There was a cat. Did you own it? No, it was a stray cat living in the neighborhood. The mother had died, and it was all alone. I see. But the kids in the neighborhood took care of it. It grew to be a healthy cat. Is the cat well taken care of in Japan? Yeah, probably. Probably. Last time I saw it was when I was leaving for Hong Kong. Oh. I'm sure the cat's doing fine. Yes, I'm sure it is. No. Hmm. We'll be out of the forest soon. Yeah. It won't take long now. Let's move on. Yo, we're almost there. I see. Shenfa, is Bailu Village near now? We have to go a little further to reach the place where the villagers live. Really? But my house is right there. It's on that small hill. Please come in for a while. I need to go to Bailu Village. You saved my life. I want to thank you. Um. Please rest for a bit. Please. Oh, all right. Good. Follow me. We'll see my house soon. Shenfa. Follow me. My house is right ahead. Just a bit further. I see. Here. What's this tree? Shenmu. Huh? A tree called Shenmu. Shenmu. 
Every year at this time of the season, its flowers bloom. Really? This tree holds a special meaning for me. The Shinmu tree has its flowers in bloom again this year. Shenfa, a beautiful flower. I know. We will name our child Shenfa. Shenfa, that is wonderful. The Shenmu tree shall protect her. The flower of the Shenmu tree is called Shenfa. That's... Yes, that's my name. There was a tree at home that bloomed during the springtime. At your house? They were called cherry blossoms. Their petals were pale pink. Cherry blossoms. Does that tree hold a special meaning for you too? Yes. Let's go. It's this way. What's the matter, Shenfa? When I was a child, I used to play on that swing. Every year when the Shenmu's flowers bloomed. Is this house located in Bailu village? Yes. We are at the edge of the village. Really? Shenfa, you said you were living with your father. Yes. I only have a father. I don't have a mother. What about you? When I was really small, my mother was already... And your father? My father is gone now. I'm sorry. I... It's all right. What's your father like? He's a stubborn but warm-hearted man. 
Stubborn, but warm-hearted. Bjorn, while you're still sleeping in bed, farmers are working hard in the fields, carefully picking carrots one by one. So how can you waste them like that? Okay, I'll eat them. <laughs> That's my boy. What's wrong? Nothing. There's something I'd like to tell you. Hmm? I was told my real father had died. Died? Yes, together with my mother. Really? But I don't remember anything about my real parents. I don't even know how they died. Your present father? He took my parents' place and raised me as if I were his real child. Of course I accept him as my real father. He's my only family now. I see. But when I was small, I used to give him a difficult time. Hmm? I threw tantrums. I told him that I wanted a mother. Brothers and sisters, too. Brothers and sisters? Do you have any brothers or sisters? I don't have any brothers or sisters, but there was this person called Fukusan. We used to practice with each other. Practice? We were learning martial arts from my father. He was strict to both of us. We were always sweaty from practice. We used to fight a lot too, just like real brothers. Really? He helped me in many ways so that I could go to Hong Kong. You're lucky. Hmm? I envy you for having a person like that close to you. Although we weren't real brothers, He's a part of my family, and he's important to me. Yes. That tree. The Shenmu tree. Yeah, it's a really big tree. Yes, it's a very old tree, too. The tree was already that tall when my grandfather was a child. I see. The tree has been alive for thousands of years. Thousands of years. Shenmu. What's the matter, Yo? Maybe it's only my imagination. Yes? But I think I feel something. You feel something? The tree isn't just old and big. I don't know how to say this. It seems like it has a spirit. Really? Do you feel that way too? Well, yeah. I felt the same way ever since I was small. You too? When I was a child. I used to play under the tree, and I felt like I was being held by the Shenmu tree. Although I was alone, I didn't feel lonely at all. I think I understand. Yes. It feels like, even as we sit here, that tree is watching and protecting us. It seems like I've known that tree from a long time ago. It's a strange feeling. It will be dark soon. You should stay for the night. Is that all right? Yes. I want to help you in return for saving me. I'm going to get dinner ready. Please wait. Why don't you rest while I make dinner? Yes. Thank you. The meal should be ready soon. I should go to the kitchen.